Hi there. Do you remember her? Juana Martinez Neal? She wrote and illustrated that book, Alma and How She Got Her Name. We watched that story before. Now, today, we have a new book. Juana Martinez Neal did not write the story for this new book, but she drew the pictures for the story. She partnered with someone who wrote a story, and then she drew the pictures for their story. You want to see what the story is? There it is. It's called The Messy One. You see the little pig? She's painting, making a big mess. She's messy. It's by Christiane Jones and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. By, that word by, that means who did it, who did something. Do you remember this word? Author. She's the author. That means Christiane is the one who wrote the book. She authored the book. She wrote the story. And illustrated by, you remember this word, illustrator? Illustrator means the person who drew the pictures for the story. So illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Means she drew all the pictures. That's the illustrator and that's the author. So are you ready for the story now? This little pig's name was Vivian and Vivian was messy. She was a messy eater. She was a messy painter. You see that mess that she's making there? And of course, her bedroom was extremely messy. You see that? She has toys everywhere all over her bed. Her dresser drawers are open and her clothes are hanging out. Very messy. It bothered her mom. She said, Vivian. Vivian was a messy eater. And her mom had to clean it all up. And it bothered her dad. You see the footprints everywhere? Dad had to mop up all those footprints. And he said, oh, Vivian. And it bothered her sister, too. She said, Vivian, where's my favorite shirt? However, being messy didn't bother Vivian at all. She enjoyed being messy. It was fine with her. Vivian was really proud of being messy. So proud that she went ahead and made a necklace. Do you see the necklace? M-E-S-S-Y. That spells messy. She was so proud that she wore a necklace that says, I'm messy. Vivian wore that necklace every day. It was her favorite thing to wear. And she never left home without it. See, there she is. Trotting off, wearing her necklace. 
that says messy. Maybe she's going to school. Then one especially messy morning. Vivian couldn't find her necklace. She lost her necklace. She couldn't find it. She was upset. She looked high up on the shelves. She searched low under the couch. She couldn't find her necklace. Vivian searched through every room in her house, through the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the basement, the bathroom, through all the rooms, looking for her necklace, but she could not find it. She looked through all the rooms except for one room. Which room do you think that was? She looks a little worried. You think it's her room? Maybe the really messy room? Maybe. So Vivian knew what had to be done. She told mom, dad, and her sister, stand back everyone. She put on her helmet and she said, I can do this. And with great determination, Vivian started cleaning her room. Vivian started cleaning, picking up all kinds of things, putting them away. She kept on working. When she got sweaty and sweat dripped into her eyes, did Vivian quit? Did she stop? No, she wiped the sweat from her eyes and she kept on cleaning. She put all the books, pencils, and papers in the right place. Then Vivian moved on to her clothes, all the clean clothes that her mom had brought to her room and Vivian had left all over the floor. Vivian knew what she had to do. She had to pick them all up and fold them. She folded and folded until she had a big pile of clean clothes. Her sister's laughing at her. I wonder why she's laughing at her. Uh-oh. What happened? Her big pile of clothes fell on top of Vivian. Oh, oops. When that happened, when the pile of clothes fell on her, did Vivian quit? Did she stop working? No, she did not. She kept on cleaning. She picked those clothes up again, folded them all up again, and piled them up again. Then Vivian gathered piles and piles of toys. She picked up so many different things and put them in piles. And when Vivian slipped on one of her little toy cars and fell and hurt her head, did that make Vivian quit? Did she stop working? No, she did not. She kept on working. She kept cleaning. She stood herself up, brushed herself off, and kept on going. After a long afternoon of hard work, sweat, tears, and cleaning for hours, putting things away, finally Vivian was finished. Her whole room was clean. She felt very proud. See what she says? I did it. Vivian was delighted. Now her room was all clean. 
Did she find her necklace? Vivian looked again. And guess where she found her necklace? Do you have an idea of where she might have found it? Where do you think? You want to see? Oh, there it is. You see where the necklace is? It's in the box where the necklace belongs, the jewelry box. That's where she's supposed to put it. That means when Vivian took off her necklace the last time, she put it in the right place. So did Vivian have to clean up her room? No, she didn't. But Vivian realized... That whole ordeal of looking and searching and trying to find her necklace and cleaning her room was a lot of work and a lot of worry. So after that day, from then on, Vivian changed. She was still a messy eater. And she was still a messy painter. But her room, her bedroom, was clean. It stayed that way. It was never messy again. So Vivian was still proud of herself. She was proud of being messy but that changed a little bit. She added another necklace. Do you see what it says there? S-O-M-E-T-I-M-E-S. -E -E that spells sometimes, sometimes messy. She's proud of being sometimes messy, not all the time messy now. That was probably a good place to start sometimes messy. Is your bedroom messy? Do you have things all over the floor? Do you lose things and you can't find them? Maybe you could try cleaning up just one place. Just like Vivian. The best mess ever. Did you enjoy the story? I did. I hope you did too. See you later. The end.